Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Friday, June 10th, 2016. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every weeknight. Assembly Speaker Ilir Mehta clarified the issue of including the judicial reform on yesterday's Parliament agenda, declaring that the reform has not been included on the agenda unilaterally and that it's only a misunderstanding of the Parliament's administration. Mr. Mehta said that a unilateral discussion of the reform is not on his agenda and that his objective is to make efforts to reach an agreement with the opposition to adopt the reform. In this regard, the Assembly Speaker has officially invited the Democratic Party Chairman to a meeting, which according to him should be held by Monday. He showed flexibility regarding the place and the format of the meeting, saying that he is ready to welcome the DP Chairman with a meeting, with the presence of the Prime Minister and foreign experts if the DP Chairman desires so, expressing that he is open to wide dialogue. The Assembly Speaker gave assurance that a qualitative reform based on the Venice Commission recommendations and Euralius and Opdat suggestions will be discussed at the meeting, but he avoided giving a response about whether he accepts the opposition's condition for reserved seats. Earlier today, the chairman of the Socialist Movement for Integration spoke out against the DP's condition for reserved seats. The Assembly Speaker was also asked about the Prime Minister and the Minister of Interior's accusations against justice institutions. Luckily, I was not here when the accusations were made. I would not have liked to hear the accusations between the institutions, said Meta, adding that he would prefer the institutions cooperate instead of exchanging accusations. During the media outlet, the Assembly Speaker expressed readiness to meet with the DP Chairman whenever Mr. Basha wants receiving him during the day and the night, but with the only condition that the meeting be held before Monday. The Assembly Speaker's statement was made after a meeting he held today with the U.S. and EU ambassadors, which was asked for by the ambassadors. The Democratic Party, which had previously declared they would sue the Parliament administration for including the judicial reform on the agenda, withdrew the lawsuit, accepting the Assembly Speaker's words that the inclusion was a misunderstanding of the administration. However, the chairman of the Democratic Parliamentary Group declared that despite the withdrawal, the Democratic Party thinks that the inclusion of the reform on the agenda was made by the Prime Minister's order and considered the inclusion of the judicial reform on the Parliament's agenda without the opposition's knowledge and without discussing it at the conference of chairmen to be an unprecedented scandal. The judicial reform was illegally included in Parliament's agenda, making a scandal that has not happened in the last 25 years. According to information from the Assembly, it was a mistake of the administration, but you know that the administration cannot make such mistakes. If it isn't a mistake of the administration, if Rama acts violating the laws, rules and procedures would be a very serious act, he said. Tirana's court held a session today for the two police officials who were on house arrest regarding the tapping issue. At the end of the court session, the court upheld the security measure on house arrest for the police officials. The defense lawyer declared that the issue will be taken to appellate court, claiming that there is not a criminal offense and a consequence. On June 6th, Tirana's court ruled on house arrest for the two officials and suspended the state police director who stands accused of dereliction of duty regarding the tapping equipment. The prosecution accuses them of committing illegal tapping. The prosecution raised two accusations against them, dereliction of duty and obstructing the revelation of truth. According to the prosecution, these people allowed illegal tapping. Meanwhile, State Police Director will appeal his suspension at the Appellate Court on June 16th. Tirana Mayor announced today that Tirana will have an urban plan within the year. Albanian and Italian experts are working to prepare the first draft, which will be presented on June 21st. During a one-year analysis of his work as Tirana's mayor, Mr. Vill Villiers listed some strategic projects and investments in the capital's neighborhoods. The mayor declared that several investments will be made at the lake area and that $2 million will be invested in Tirana's entrance. 
Tirana has one million residents, meaning that it has one million problems, but it also offers one million opportunities. Business owners have responded to our call to invest in the construction of the schools and kindergartens. We are here to make dreams come true. We will have an urban plan within this year, declared the mayor. Meanwhile, the head of Democratic councillors accused the mayor of economic crisis in which the Tirana residents are. He declared that the mayor's policies are doubling residents' problems. The mayor has closed a third of the capital's businesses, many citizens remains without a job, and now the citizens who use the public transport have to pay more for their deteriorated service. Unemployment is at an alarming level, and Tirana residents are rejecting these antisocial politics, the DP councillor said. The touristic area of Xinjiang will have a yacht port. The Minister of Transport signed an agreement with the Adriatic Company today, which will construct the yacht port. The port is expected to finish within a year and will anchor 200 yachts. There has been over 7 million invested. Employment is very important for the area. The yacht port will start operating within 12 months. I expect the work to be of the highest quality. The port will keep at least 200 yachts. The port will make Albania more attractive to foreign tourists, said the Minister of Transport. The minister was also asked about the maintenance of the nation road and declared that the winning company will be stated within the month. The euro and dollar currencies have suffered a decline in our market rate. According to the Bank of Albania, the European currency is exchanged with 138.5 lek, while the dollar currency is with 121.9. The decline in the euro is due to the start of the tourist season, and the weakening of the euro is expected to continue until September. Meanwhile, transactions by traders and banks are at normal levels. The weakening of the dollar currency reflects the performance of international stock exchanges. The European currency is exchanged for $1.13. In the next few months, a further decline in the euro currency is expected due to, coming to the coming summer holidays and the tourists who will bring the euro with them. A weak euro favors those who have loans in that currency because they will pay less on monthly installments. Also, the importers will buy their goods with a cheaper price, which may precede a decline in the market prices. On the other hand, the government will pay fewer interests for the repaying of external debt. The exporters are the ones who will lose from the declined interest rate because the profit rate will decrease. In July, Hungary will open a trade representative office in Tirana, which will aim to promote cooperation between Albanian and Hungarian small-medium enterprises. The news was announced during the meeting that the Minister of Economy held with her Hungarian counterpart at the China Ministerial. The Hungarian minister also announced that direct flights between Tirana and Budapest will be launched in the autumn. The Minister of Economy thanked the government of Hungary for the assistance provided so far in Albania's integration into the EU and expressed readiness to welcome the possibility of technical assistance in negotiating state aid issues and consumer protections, which were noted during the meeting. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Ora News, thank you and good night.